my channel. I hope you're having a fantastic day as usual. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you my entire Louis Vuitton small leather goods collection. So recently when I did my Louis Vuitton handbag collection, I had a bunch of you reach out to me asking if I could do the same thing for my Louis Vuitton small leather goods collection. I think I did one of these last year and maybe the year before, but I will be honest and don't judge me. I'm sorry. Over this whole COVID year, I have gone a little crazy with small leather goods. Did I need them? No, I didn't, but I did go a little crazy, so my collection is a little different. So I think I have about 23 items to share, so this is probably gonna be a long video. I will tell you briefly about each item, but if I go into too much detail, oh my goodness, this video is gonna be so long. But keep in mind, if there's a specific piece you wanna know more about, make sure to check out my channel and the other videos. I've done a ton of comparisons. I've shown you my favorite pieces. I've shown you how to use these. So feel free to check out those other videos if you want a more in-depth review. So if you guys are new to my channel, make sure to hit that that little subscribe button and if you want to see my entire Louis Vuitton small leather goods collection then keep watching. Hey guys, before I get started, I do want to mention that today is the 21st. I recently put a video up on my channel. It is a YSL giveaway, so make sure to check that out and make sure you enter. I wanted to do something really special for you guys, so I'm giving one person a YSL card holder. It's one of my favorites. The giveaway ends on February 28th, so there's still time to enter, so make sure to check out that video if you haven't already, or if you don't get a chance to watch that, make sure to check out my post on Instagram as well. So you guys are here for my Louis Vuitton Small Other Good collection, so let's go ahead and get right into it. First item that I want to mention, and this is probably one of my favorite items, it is the Louis Vuitton Key Pouch. I currently have it in the monogram, and I have it in the Damier Graphite. You guys might recall that I gave this away for my 10,000 subscriber giveaway. This is one of my favorite pieces. I'm actually using this one right now. It has a D-ring attached, which I usually have my keys attached to. And then on the inside, you can see I am using it now. Usually what I'll do, I'll keep cards in here and a little bit of cash. So then if I go to the gym, it's nice and easy and nice and convenient and I kind of switch off between the two. But I love this piece and I always mention, I think that this Louis Vuitton key pouch is a really good starter piece if you want to get introduced to the brand. I, when I got it, it was around like, I want to say $225. I want to say this piece is now up to $275, which is crazy. But if you're looking for your first piece and you're not sure if you're going to like the brand, you should consider checking it out. It's a really, really functional, useful piece. All right, and I will start the little collection back here. Okay, the next item that I want to mention is probably one of my oldest Louis Vuitton pieces and it's this beauty right here. As you know, they don't make the Louis Vuitton multicolor collection anymore, which I'm really sad about because I love it. I always mention that I feel as though Jessica Simpson made this line famous when she had her Speedy 35. It was the most beautiful bag and it kind of is what made me fall in love with the brand. So I bought this at the time when I got it. I think it was around $425. It's really old, really, really old. You can see the corners have patinaed or they've kind of become a little bit of that dark honey. But I love this. You can use it as a little purse. Uh, it has this little clip right here that you can attach and you can use it as a little wristlet. And then on the inside, this is where I usually keep coupons. So it's a great piece because you can use it as a makeup pouch, you can use it for coupons, you can use it as a wallet and put your cash, your keys, your change, your cards, everything. So it's a really, really nice piece. I don't know if I'll ever get rid of it just because it is one of my favorite collections from Louis Vuitton and it's such a good piece. Okay, so the next piece that I want to share is actually from that same collection. It's the Louis Vuitton Multicolor Collection, and this is the Zippy Coin Purse. Once again, in the beautiful uh, multicolor, this is in the black with the beautiful rainbows. I love this. It's so vibrant, and wait till you see the inside. So you open it up, 
and I, I, rec I believe that when I first got this, you could have a choice between the lavender, you could have it in the raspberry, and I remember I got this when I was in Las Vegas. So uh, my husband and I were going to Vegas, and we were staying at the Cosmopolitan, or maybe we were staying at the Aria. I think we are staying at the Aria, and they had a deal where you got a $100 credit to City Center there, and I put that $100 credit towards Louis Vuitton, and this is just a really, really good piece. The beautiful interior, you can use this for cash, you can use this for cards, you can use this for coins. Um, really, really love this. Now, the only thing, I did have to get the zipper replaced at Louis Vuitton because I had overstuffed this, that this piece right here had come out, but I took it to Louis Vuitton, um, they sent it away, they fixed it for me, and it was great. So, love this piece, really wish they would come out with a collection similar to this. I have this little beauty right here. This is a little um, key pouch. Now the thing I like about this key pouch is it has a little outside pocket which you can put your ID in. I love the outside pockets because it's really easy access. And then on the inside, it has this beautiful raspberry interior. It's so pretty. And then it also has a D ring. So when I use this, I obviously attach my keys here. I put my cards and my cash in here and make sure I did a, a, a Louis Vuitton video of small leather goods and I kind of showed you how I use this so make sure to check that video out as well just in case you guys are like oh I like that piece but I'm not sure how to use it um, definitely check it out but I like to put my ID in here cash coins you know and then you put your key attached but I just love this so nice Okay, moving right along, let's go to another one of my favorite pieces, and I have raved about this, and it is the Louis Vuitton Empreinte. This is the key pouch. I use this all the time. I've done a comparison video between this and the Recto Verso, so make sure to check that out. But this is a great, great piece. It's in the beautiful Empreinte leather. I love the fact that it has a back zip pocket. This is a lot of times where I would keep my um, cash or I'll keep my cards, and it's nice and secure. If you don't wanna keep them in the zip part you can also keep them in here and there's a button and then another thing about it too is it has a D ring so this is something I was using for a long time um, again I always mention the gym it's just nice to have a little piece that you can have your credit cards in your ID a little bit of cash your keys and you're good to go so you don't have to carry a purse I love this piece it is held up really nicely other than the tarnishing on the button that seems to be a problem with a lot of Louis Vuitton items for whatever reason the buttons tarnish or if it has a little bit of leather, it starts to peel off, but I still love this. This is one of my favorites. Okay, the next item I want to mention, and you guys know that this is one of my favorite pieces because I rave about it, and it is the Louis Vuitton Rosalie. I have it in the monogram with the beautiful rose ballerine interior. I love it so much that I'm considering getting it in the beautiful Damier Azure, um, you know, for the summer months, but this was a piece that well, it really surprised me. It in the sense where I didn't realize I was gonna like it as much as I do. Now it retails for 400, which I know is still expensive, but for as functional as it is, I really think it's a good deal. So it opens like so, and um, it opens like this. It has a little zip compartment where you can put coins. I usually put my cards here, and then there is a flap in the back, and this is where I keep cash. I love this piece. I go on and on about it. And you guys a lot of times will reach out to me and saying, hey, you know, is it worth it? Do you still love it? And I still do. Now, I would love it if they had a back pocket, which is like easy access for your ID. It doesn't, but that's okay. I love it so much. One of my favorite Louis Vuitton pieces for sure. Moving right along, I want to show you this little guy right here. This is my Louis Vuitton multi-clay or six ring key holder. I have it in the Damier Aben with the rose ballerine interior. Now, I used to have it in the monogram with the Pivon interior, which was really nice, but the button was peeling off a little bit. And in my heart, I just always wanted the Damier Aben with the rose ballerine, so I did end up selling that one. You can see it very very pretty it opens this way 
and it has six spots for your keys. And then there is a back pocket where you can put some cash if you want, you can put an ID. I have mentioned before that I wish one side here was closed off so that you don't have to really worry about something falling out. Now, keep in mind, I've never had anything fall out of it. However, I do think that would be good if there was a slot. It would just make you feel a little more secure about your items. But this is another really good starter piece. I wanna say it retails for around $265. It. Moving right along, let's talk about a card holder. I have this beautiful card holder right here. I'm not going to lie. I didn't need another card holder when I picked this up, but I was just in love with the Damier Azure with the beautiful rose ballerine. This is called the card holder daily. It has one pocket on this side, one pocket on this side, and then there is a center compartment where you can put cash. The thing I like about this is it's really flexible. So if you guys haven't checked out my Instagram reel, I kind of did a quick comparison between this one and the Gucci Marmont card holder and I found this one to just be like really flexible and I showed you how I use it but this is a good card holder it's priced well and it's so pretty in this color combination Okay, moving right along, this right here is the Victorine wallet. I have the Victorine wallet in the monogram with the rose ballerine. So this one, it has the button which is starting to peel just a little bit. It opens like this. It's a place for your bills. There's also a place for your coins as well. So this is a great like all-in-one, very, very functional wallet where it can hold your coins, your cash, your cards. Now, I do feel like at times it is a little hard to get your cards in and out of it. Um, I used to use this all the time. I don't really use it as much anymore, but it's still a really, really good wallet. The next wallet I want to mention is this beautiful Zoe wallet. It's something about the Rose Ballerine and the Damier Ben that I just love the color combination. So when I first purchased this, I actually had gotten it in the red and then I ended up returning that because I thought, you know what, I really, really want the pink. So I'm glad I got the pink. Some people ask me about color transfer. So far, so good. I don't really have much color transfer, but I do think you have to be a little more mindful that you might get this um, pink a little dirtier than as opposed to if you were to get the red. But the thing I really like about the Zoe wallet is on the back there is a back pocket and I mentioned that's where I like to put my ID so it's really easy access. And then you open it up. It's the cutest little thing. It has two slots here, two slots here, and then there is a little zip compartment where you can put your change. Now, one thing I would recommend, I find that this canvas can be a little stiff. So my recommendation to you would be, if you're gonna go for the Zoe wallet, maybe go for the Emprunt leather. The Emprunt leather is a lot more flexible. You can get your cards in and out easier. So I think if I were to redo this, I might have gotten it in the Emprunt leather. Actually, that is still kind of on my wish list because this is such a cute and compact wallet, but I just feel like with the Emprunt leather, I might be able to fit a little more. And keep in mind the button, it hasn't tarnished, but there are a few little nicks on it. But other than that, love the concept very cute love the back pocket as well okay the next item I want to mention is this little guy this is the six ring key holder in the Emprunt leather uh, with the little gold tone hardware I open it up here it is set up the same way as this one where it has six spots for your keys and then there is a box pocket here and I love the Emprunt leather again because it's really flexible and I feel like it's really really durable as well Okay, moving right along, the next piece that I want to mention is my Louis Vuitton. This is the Agenda in the PM size. A lot of you ask me about this, and so if you want me to do a dedicated video on this, I can certainly do this. You just ask me, you know, do, do I use it? Is it worth it? And I just think it's the cutest little planner, and it's so small that it can fit in a lot of bags, which is nice, especially if you're someone that likes to stay organized. But again, I have it in a small size. I open it up. And you can see it has some card slots here. There was a slot here. And I gave you guys a tip before. You don't have to go to the Louis Vuitton website and buy the insert. You can just go to Amazon and you can buy the Filofax inserts. I will link those down below and it will fit in this and it's only like nine or 10 bucks. Now, is it gonna be as nice or fancy as the Louis Vuitton? No, but it's gonna save you a little bit of money because I think on the website they're like 50 or 60 bucks, maybe more than that now. So I really like this piece. 
I really do. Then there's a slot on the back. It's really, really functional, and I think it's a great item to have if you want to stay organized. I have actually thought about getting it in the larger size, but I just haven't seen it available. But really, really good piece, like I said, especially if you are a planner. Moving right along, it would not be a small other good collection without these little guys right here. These are the Louis Vuitton Mini Pochette. I have it in the Damier Aben, and then I have it in the Monogram. After I um, got this one, this one came available, and I was like, gosh, this is such a hard piece to get. I have to have that in my collection. These are just great pieces because you can use them for cosmetics. You can use them as a little wallet, as a little purse. You can use it just for random items, you know, like like AirPods and face masks and that type of thing. This is just a great little piece to put in your purse. Um, I recently did a video up on my channel comparing this to the Toiletry 15 pouch in case you guys are curious, but these are great because you can also attach chains and you can use them as like crossbody bags, but these are great. This beautiful Damia Ben has the red interior and then this monogram right here has just um, the brown interior, but these are very functional items. Love, love, love these pieces. Uh, there was the one that got away for me because they had this in the Escal collection, which is so beautiful. You know how much I love that. It was available and then I sat on it and when I went to go check out, it was gone. And now they have it on Fashion File and the Pre-Love Market, but it's like $800. And so I've been on the fence because I want to say when I on the website the Escal might have been five sixty five or six hundred, which was still a lot of money. And then to pay eight hundred, I just don't know if it's worth it. But I feel like it would be a collector's piece. But these are great, great pieces. Here is this beauty right here. I don't know if it's going to pick up on camera because of the lighting, but this Escal collection is so beautiful, and I've always joked that this is me in a collection. I love tie dye and pastels and. These are just some of the most beautiful colors. They really, really are. Now, I will be honest, this is one piece that I purchased that I haven't really used that much. Now, the beauty of this, though, you open it up, there is another piece inside right here. You open it to the beautiful blue, and then you open it again, and then there is another little baby one. Now, out of the three of these, this is the one I use the most. Um, I'll use this for gift cards, and it's really cute, but I have yet to really use these two. So I'll be honest, this might be more of a collector's piece, and I might have gotten a little sucked in by the beautiful color. I think, if I'm being honest, because I wasn't able to get the mini pochette, it kind of made me want to get this one. So this might have been a little bit of an impulse buy, but I do still use this one and it is kind of beautiful to look at. I think they're actually coming out with another tie-dye collection this summer or in the spring, so I'm definitely looking forward to checking out the pieces from that. Okay, sticking with the Escal collection, I have to mention this beauty right here. This is the Louis Vuitton Victorine wallet in the Escal collection. Once again, so beautiful. I haven't even used this yet because it's almost like a piece of art that I'm just looking at. I absolutely love it. But you can see the beautiful colors. It has the silver hardware. And then on the inside, it has three compartments here, three here a billfold, and then it also has a spot for change. This is such a pretty, pretty piece, and I definitely think it's going to be a collector's item for me. Again, it's just so beautiful to look at, and I just love it, and I feel like if you're like a handbag collector or a small other good collector, there's nothing wrong with having something in your collection that you just admire and it makes you happy, and I think that is this for me. Okay, the next item I wanna mention is this little beauty right here. This is the Recto Verso. I remember when I first saw a picture of this, I reached out to my sales associate. I was like, do you have this? He's like, I don't, but I can order it for you. And I was so excited by this concept. It just is so unique because you have the little flap right here where you can put cards in. On the back, there are some credit card slots. There is a compartment here where I usually put cash 
It also has a D ring where you can put your keys. And this is something that I did not notice when I was doing an unboxing video and I noticed it after. And then actually Jerusha Couture mentioned it as well. There is a little hidden compartment right here that you can put cards in. And I find that when I use it, a lot of times that's where I put cards in. So this is great. It's very similar to the Empron key pouch. And I actually did do a comparison between those two. So if you wanna see which one I like better, make sure to check out that video but this is a great piece they actually even have it in the damier aben with the rose ballerine which you guys I was tempted. I was able to get that, but then I said, Amber, you have been so naughty, so bad this year when it comes to small other goods, you don't need it. So I was actually very proud of myself because I said no. <laughs> Let's go with the item that was on my wish list for the longest time and I never thought I was gonna get and then I was able to get it. And it is the monogram little round coin purse. I have it in the Christmas animation. I'm not even kidding. I wanted this for so long and I looked on Fashion File and I was gonna buy it on the pre-love market but then my sales associate said, hey, I can get one for you in the in the Christmas animation, which is super, super cute. So I was like, yes, because I am like one of the last people on earth that still carries change. You can see I have it stuffed to the brim. I really do, oops, and it's actually coming out. You guys might recall if you follow me on Instagram, I did a stories um, and I actually did an unboxing video telling you that, that in order to get this, I actually went through my house and I had a vase filled with change, I had wallet it's filled with change and I had over a hundred dollars that I put towards this and I just love this piece it's so functional it's so good I'm so glad I added it to my collection okay I have two more pieces to share and then we will be done okay let's go these are the two most recent pieces I got this little guy right here, this is by Louis Vuitton. This is the gusseted card holder. I really liked the concept of this because I had never seen anything like it. Well, I lie, I, I don't own anything like it, but I think Dior has a gusset card holder similar to this. But I'm definitely a person that likes to stay organized. So when I saw this, I thought this is gonna be great for me because you open it like this and it expands. So there are five little compartments. So basically what I do, I have all of my store credit cards in here and I keep them in alphabetical order. So if I'm like, oh, I am at Express. Let me get my Express, it's right here. I have really, really been liking this, I have. Now, is it worth the price? No, this was a pretty penny. I want to say this was around $600, which I don't think it's worth $600. I like the concept of it, but if I could go back and redo, I don't know if I would have paid the money for it, but now that I do have it, I am going to use it, and I have found it very useful, and it definitely keeps me organized because, you know, sometimes if you throw all of your cards in, it's hard to keep them organized, but here, like I said, I keep them in alphabetical order, so it just kind of helps me know where each card is. All right, we are coming down to the, wait, I lie. This is not the last small other good. You guys, oh my goodness, I forgot about two more. Give me one second. Okay, I and I lied, I lied, I'm sorry. I have three more items to share. I can't believe I forgot about these. Okay, the next item I have, this right here, is the Toiletry 19. I have these in a different section compared to where all my small other goods are, so I forgot about them for a second, but this is my Toiletry 19 pouch. I currently have one of the Zumoni organizers in it. This is a great item. You can use it as like a little clutch. You can use it as a makeup bag. You can use it if you're, you know, traveling like on an overnight trip. I don't really care for this long little tab right here, but I did spray the Viquetta piece with apple guard to ensure that it doesn't patina and so far so good so I have it in the 19 and then I also have it in the 15 how cute is this little 15 now I'm gonna be honest I thought I would use the 19 a lot more than the 15 but I find myself gravitating more towards the 15 because it fits in a lot more of my purses um, right now I just have some Oh, let's see. I have some perfume, some Gucci Bloom. I have some lotion, and then I have some uh, tampons in there. Uh, but I love this because, like I said, it's so small and compact, but it really does fit a lot. But if you want to know more about this, check out the comparison I did between this one and the mini pochette if you're curious as to which one I liked more. But this is a really, really functional, cute item. I don't own the 26. I've thought about getting it just so I could have the trifecta, but... I don't know if I'd be buying it just to have the trifecta and I don't know if that would be worth the money to do that if I'd really use it but so far I am really enjoying these two.
Okay, so let's talk about the final piece that I have in my collection, and it's my re most recent piece, and it is this little guy right here. How pretty is this? This is from the Louis Vuitton 2021 Valentine's Day collection. It is in the vernis leather. It's the most beautiful, like, ocean blue. You open it up. This one does not have a pocket like the other multicolor one does, but on the inside, it's the beautiful blue interior, and then it does have this little d-ring as well i also did a reel on my instagram showing how to use this one as well make sure to check it out but this is just so so pretty uh, anyone who knows me knows how much i love turquoise they know how much i love bright colors so when I saw this one, I was like, oh my God, that's so beautiful. And again, I i know I mentioned earlier, I'm so excited to see the new Louis Vuitton collections that are coming up, like the, the watercolor. Oh my gosh, those are definitely on my radar. So you never know, I might end up picking another small other good from that collection because they just look like they're gonna be so beautiful. Okay, so there you have it, guys. That is my Louis Vuitton small other goods collection. I hope you enjoyed. I know it's a little excessive, but at this point I've become a little bit of a collector. I just love these pieces. I will be sure to try to link everything I showed in this video down below. If I'm not able to find the exact pieces, I will try to link something similar. But if you have any questions at all, feel free to reach out. And like I said, check out some of my other videos if you're looking for a more in-depth review. And make sure to check out my giveaway. That giveaway will end on February 28th and the winner will be selected on March 1st where one lucky winner will receive a brand new YSL card holder from me to you. Thank you guys again for watching. If you guys are new to my channel make sure to hit that little subscribe button and i'd love to have you follow me on instagram as well have a wonderful day you guys and i will see you in my next video Wish me the best of luck. I'm gonna